Look over my shoulder, guys. I think we're finally going to make it to Bermuda today. Oh, I yes. sure hope so. We are so close. Listen, it's been a long time coming. We've been waiting a couple days here. We've been turned away by Mother Nature two days in a row, back to back. And now it's day three. This is our last chance to get to that island. And uh, we want to get there and check it out. We've never been there before. First time for any of us. Okay, well, I was there. I think I was like 10, so no recollection. We have and big plans today. Oh, my God. Sharon, to go. Sharon has shot out of a cannon today. I don't know how I'm going to restrain her or hold her yeah. back. It's going to be I out of control. I want to see the forts. I want to see the caves. I have to have a swizzle. And there's this cool little ice cream place I read about that I want to have an ice cream at. I don't know if an ice cream and a swizzle go together, oh, but... Are you saying um, we came all the way to Bermuda for ice cream? I, well, oh my so God. we're just going to try it. I want this, I want it's that. It's a famous want, ice cream You sound place. like Spalding from Caddyshack. <laughs> and there's two forts I want to visit. There's one, um, there's, I guess there's several forts in Bermuda, but we're not going to be able to hit all of them today because we're not going to be able to make it all the way to St. George. If we do get over there, we're just going to hang out in Hamilton, so there is a... Um, Fort in Hamilton. There's also one right by the dockyard, I believe. So oh my God, you're going 100 miles an hour. The ones we're going to check out. I will out not today. be able to keep up. Just drop me off on the island. You go run around and let me know what what kind of day you I'm had. I'm ready to go. Okay. I'm ready. All right. So we're going to eat some food, um, and then we're going to get off the ship as soon as we can, and then we're going to see what Bermuda has for us. And here we are, taking our first steps on the island of Bermuda. How does it feel, Sharon, to be in Bermuda right now? Uh, is it exciting? Well, it's exciting. Like, let's let's get moving. Okay, let's get going. Here. I'm sorry, there's no time for the shenanigans. No, no time we need to this. get somewhere. All right, we just got off the ship. We're headed over here to um, purchase some tickets for the ferry, and then we're gonna hop on the ferry, take it over to Hamilton, and hopefully head to the caves, the um, Crystal Caves, Fantasy Caves, and explore um, some caves. And then we're gonna kind of walk around Hamilton, see what else we can find. I'm hoping to. Uh, maybe stop at the fort in um, Bermuda there, Hamilton Fort. And so let's see where the day takes us. All right, well, we got off the ship looking to get on the ferry, but the ferry hours are not the usual that they are. So it would be like another hour to get a ferry. And the bus takes quite a while. So we're going to look to see if we can't jump in a taxi, bypass stuff, and just get where we want to go as quick as we can. stop uh, we made it up to the crystal and fantasy caves Woo. Um, and things have, since we got into port a couple days later there were some I think tours there already so by the time that we could have gotten in the caves um, we wouldn't have had enough time to take the ferry back to um, the dockyard so we decided just not to wait because we would be too rushed and then that would be pretty much all we could do today. So we left there and we decided to come up to Fort Hamilton. There's supposed to be some really neat, nice things to see in here. We're gonna go up to the top and, and look down, hopefully get some good video and pictures and see maybe a lot of Bermuda, we'll see. Um, so let's head up there and, and then we're gonna walk, walk back to the ferry. It's about a 20 minute walk back to the ferry and then we can maybe make some stops along the way and see what other things we see around Hamilton. So let's go. Let's just kind of check out the fort and check out Hamilton today. Okay, so we made it here to Fort Hamilton and it's really kind of, um, I don't know how to describe it. You know, if you've ever been to a fort on a vacation or something like that, you know, it's very structured. Uh, they have tours and stuff like this. This place is kind of like come here at your own risk type of a deal. So it's a pretty neat setup. I don't know if it's for everybody but we want to explore it and um it's got a view down to the city that we're going to look to check out and then it's about a 20 minute walk to get down um into the city once we're done here so we're gonna take a look around and see what's going on the american civil war 1861 to 1865 resulted in a massive fortification program being undertaken in bermuda by the british garrison the construction of Fort Hamilton and other forts commenced in 1868 and was terminated in 1888, leaving this fort unfinished. 
The forts built during the reign of Queen Victoria were mainly for the defense of the Royal Naval facilities at the dockyard. The town of Hamilton and the British garrison at Prospect would also have been protected by Fort Hamilton. Restoration of this fort started in 1964 and it was officially opened as a park on 21st of June 1967 by His Excellency the Governor, Lord Mortimer. So that was a quick look at the area here. It is a gorgeous place here in Hamilton in Bermuda. Um, we are going to walk down um, towards the ferry about a 20 minute walk from here and maybe just check out a few things along the way. We'll see what we see. It's our first time here too. So we're going to bring you along and, and we'll just check things out together and then we're going to take the ferry back to the dockyard. One thing about Bermuda is they drive on the opposite side of the road from what we're used to in the U.S. So be careful when you're um, crossing a crosswalk and things like that because you could be crossing expecting someone to be turning from the other direction and smack dab, they're right there turning right into you. So be very careful in Bermuda when you're walking the streets or when you're on a bicycle. All right, one thing that really stands out I think above a lot of the other Caribbean destinations that you go to in Bermuda is the cleanliness and almost a newness to the to the area here streets are clean there's sidewalks um, you know you're seeing public transportation you're seeing stores that you're familiar with uh, you're seeing newer clean vehicles lots of uh, mopeds and scooters that people are using so it's pretty cool here in the town of Hamilton look right across the street is what Sharon there is a Sears right across the street. Um, it looks more like, uh, it's not a huge Sears, it looks kind of more like it's um, kind of gardening tools. Maybe it's like an outdoors type Sears, but there is a Sears. And one more thing you won't find here is fast food places. There is only one fast food place on the island and that is a KFC in the, I think it's downtown Hamilton area somewhere here. And that's because they kind of banned them from here. They put a law in effect, no fast food, um, to kind of help support all the locals in the area with their um, establishments. But the KFC was here before that law went into effect, so it gets to stay. Hold on, Sharon, I thought we saw a Mr. Chicken as well. Is that more of a restaurant? That, if you saw a Mr. Chicken, that would be more of a local place. And you uh. know what, I don't know of any place called Mr. Chicken in the US, so I think it's local. <laughs> Excellent point, Sharon. You're so wise. Your wisdom is over overflowing. Um, all right, so uh, right now we're heading down to Front Street. Right. And we're going to go to Front Street and see about Front. getting um, getting some tickets on the ferry so we can get back to the back ship. Back to the dockyard, yep. And then and we'll see if there's anything down here. If there's any shopping down here, I might have to just poke in there and see what's in there. But we'll see. Whoa, I, whoa, if whoa. We have no, time. no. Stop the vlog now. No time. shopping. No shopping. Stop it now. <laughs> so this is interesting. Here in Bermuda or in Hamilton, there's no street signs. They just put the, uh, the name of the street on the buildings. I don't know what the reason is for that. But it's cool. Well, this is pretty convenient. As you're walking down Front Street, heading back to the ferry, and you're thinking, boy, I'd really like to go to the bathroom before I get on that ferry back to the ship. Uh, hello, there's one right here for passers-by. Check this out. All right, so we made it down to the ferry. Um, it is the Sea Express. It's the big pink building down here on Front Street. And we went in and purchased our tickets. Um, they were $13.50, I think, for three tickets. Um, and now we're gonna go get in the line to get on the ferry and head back to the dockyard. Um, wander around there just a little bit and then head back to the ship. There's Bon Jovi references everywhere here in Bermuda. And here we are getting on the ferry. It's on the ferry. You can sit downstairs, or you can head upstairs. Like we're gonna.
ferry is from the ship. It's really close. Take a look. We're going to pull in here and get real close to the ship. Easy, easy walk to the ferry. All right, so we made it back from Hamilton to the dockyard here. Um, it took about maybe 20 minutes or so. Um, like I said before, it was only about 13.50 for three of us to get back. And that was much cheaper than taking a taxi ride back and shorter as well. But we're gonna get off now and just see, wander around the port, see what's around here. Um, see if we can find a Bermuda shot glass because we need a Bermuda shot glass to take home. So quick note, when you get off the breakaway, it's a very short walk over here to this um, kind of a, a, a information center here. And uh, this is right adjacent to where the ferry is. And this is where you can get your ferry tickets or your bus tickets. Pretty inexpensive. A lot of little shops here too. Some of them are open, some of them are not. We're gonna go see about doing a little shopping right now and see what Sharon can put in her pocket. And not literally, she wouldn't put it in her pocket and take it. You know what I mean? You know where I'm going with this. You know, not everything survived the pandemic. Unfortunately, it looks like the boner bar didn't make it. That's a damn shame. We'll miss you, boner bar. We'll miss you. Here's two little shopping places right here in the port, walking distance from the ship. Crown and Anchor, classic Bermudian apparel. And right here, the Island Outfitters. All right, so we're in the Island Outfitters store right now. Um, and mass required indoors, so. Hopefully you can hear me, but there's a lot more trinkets in this store than the last one we were in. So I'm going to kind of just look around and see what I do see. I will say, like we said, Bermuda is more pricey. The souvenirs are going to be pricey as well. Now it looks like the Bonefish Bar and Grill is a hopping spot. I couldn't imagine how much fun we were going to have here if the ship was here for three days in a row. All right, here's the menu at the Bonefish uh, Bar and Grill here right in the port. Now you can't really see it too well, I don't suppose, but you got some fish chowder nine bucks fried calamari seventeen dollars uh one of a kind bruschetta fourteen dollars garden salad eleven bucks uh bonefish sandwich 19 lobster tacos 25 uh footlong hot dog 16 that's just to give you a little example of the pricing that they have going on here um oh it, it says pizza by the foot that's of interest we should check that out a little bit huh Cocktails, um, I don't know, they have a, a couple of IPAs and some stuff like that you can check out. So, um, the Bonefish, they're open and they got free Wi Fi, baby. Royal Naval Dockyard, you got the shopping mall, the restrooms, the visitor service center, Snorkel Park, Beach, and Bermuda Fun Golf, the Art Center, restaurants and pubs, National Museum, Dolphin Quest, oh, glass blowing. Ferry buses, water sports, and Bermudian escape room games. That's Why didn't we do any Bermuda escape room games? Well, I wanted to go check out the glass blowing, but we didn't quite have time. But and then look at—I just looked over this way, and there's a Diamonds International. I, I think. Oh my God! Caribbean port has a diamond. This isn't a Caribbean port. What the heck is that doing here? I know. All right. Anyway, so uh, uh, Sharon, anyways. what time is it? It is. It's uh, time to get back on the ship. That's yeah, what time it is. That's Let's the time go. It is. <laughs> I'm sweating my patuki off out here. It's so weird how, you know, they, they not only drive on the opposite side of the road here, but they, I mean, in the car, the car on the opposite side of the road, but they drive in the opposite side of the car as well. So, it's just so the wheel's weird. on the opposite side, the car's on the opposite side. Everything's opposite. Wait, don't two opposites make it right? Do wrong to the right? Um, that's probably no. what they say. Doesn't, doesn't what they work say. that way? Okay. <laughs> All right, we're heading back to that big beauty, the Norwegian breakaway. There she is. Ooh. We're coming home, baby. We're coming home. Bermuda artesian ice cream. Yeah, please. Mm. Keep him walking. Keep walking. There she is. The beautiful, beautiful Norwegian breakaway. Well, we are at the American Diner. This is actually our first time eating here on Norwegian, so we're gonna check it out. Uh, we got back and the buffet area, the Garden Cafe uh, was closed. They were doing tea time, but we needed more than tea time. We are starving. Um, and we've been to Oceans quite a few times already. So we thought, you know what? Let's check out the American Diner. Or since we're starving, we just wanted a big, juicy burger. And they have an amazing menu here. They have appetizers, they have mozzarella sticks, 
mushroom flatbread, loaded nachos, pork sliders, ooh, that sounds good too, and a lobster roll slider. And then they have um, some different sandwiches and salads and burgers and shakes. So I'm gonna try one of their shakes too because, um, I don't know, burger places always usually have good shakes. Now this is a little, a little bit of an upcharge. It is not one of the complimentary um, venues here, but it's really not badly priced. Um, the appetizers start at like $4. Um, now the lobster roll is $12. Um, let's see, the burgers are, hang on here. They're anywhere from, I don't know, like sandwiches and burgers, so $7 on up to, um, well you can get like a grilled steak for 15 card. Thank so, you, but not bad. All right, well, the family is here at uh, American Diner. First time ever. We're super psyched. And oddly enough, we all got milkshakes. We all got burgers. Two of us got appetizers. Sharon got mozzarella sticks. You have to have a milkshake with a burger at the American Diner. You're dang right you do. You're dang right you do. And, uh, and I got flatbread, because what's this American Diner more than a shiitake mushroom flatbread? So we're going to pick out on some burgers. Well, let's just see what they look like. And we're going to check it out because, you know, We've eaten a lot of burgers on cruise ships. I mean, listen, I don't like to talk about other places, but you know, we, we, we tried Johnny Rockets on Royal, and it was all right. You know we love uh, uh, Carnival, Guy Fieri's, Guy's Burgers. We're big, big fans of that, so we're gonna see how does the American Diner stack up to the other two big cruise line burgers. We'll let you know when we're done. Thank you. Sorry? Oh my. They're chocolate. Thank you so much. Oh my god, look at these milkshakes. Does that not look amazing? Oh my god. This is a good burger. It's thick, it's juicy, and the bun is just very, it's soft and plump, and it's toasted though on the outside here. Oh, this is great. Wow, I am so stuffed. Those burgers at American Diner, I, they're some of the best burgers I've had on a cruise ship. I think the only other burger I've ever had that competes with that is Guy's Burger, and it's a different type of burger. Guy's Burger is a different type of burger than the American Diner. American Diner reminded me more of like a, um, kind of like a grilled barbecue type of a burger with a big fluffy bun. It was really good. <sighs> now I don't know if I'm hungry for dinner. But anyways, look at this beautiful view out here. We're gonna wave bye to Bermuda, because we are off. Setting sail back to New York City. Hi, Bermuda. I know what you're thinking. Sharon, sure, you like the burger, but are you really a burger connoisseur? Well, let me tell you something. I am a burger connoisseur. I mean, look at me. Look at these cheeks. Look at that. I've eaten many burgers, and uh, I've eaten all the burgers on all the high seas, almost between Royal, Carnival, and um, NTL now. And I'm here to tell you that Guy's Burger 
is incredibly popular and it's a great burger but that burger i just had the american diner it rivals it it rivals it now it doesn't have all the trimmings and the fixings and all that kind of stuff and of course it costs money and guys is no charge but it's like a a one and a one a as far as i'm concerned and uh you can flip flop them whichever you want one a one 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 a whatever you want to do that burger today in american diner was off the chisel